Buenas tardes y bienvenidos a la última de las eh, sesiones de la segunda jornada de la Golf Test Week 2024 de Golf Industria. Nos acompaña Michael Carr, él es Regional Sales Manager de Ray Ransom Jacobsen y nos va a hablar sobre electrificación en maquinaria de mantenimiento para campos de golf. Mike, uh, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, please, go ahead. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm Michael Carr, Regional Sales Manager for Ransoms Jacobson, and today I'm going to introduce you to the world's first all-electric fairway mower, the Jacobson SLF-1. So a little bit about Jacobson first. Jacobson are owned by Textron. Textron are a Fortune 500 company, employs over 33,000 people and operates in 25 countries. So we're owned by a big global company based in America. And within this company, there's different divisions. We sit in the Textron Specialized Vehicles Division. So there's us there at the top with the mowers. There's Cushman products, which you probably see on some of the golf courses, um, specialized vehicles. We've then got the EasyGo buggies, which I'm sure you're all well aware of, the golf carts and the shuttles. We also have Arctic Cat, which is mainly snowmobile type vehicles. I don't think you see many of them in Spain. Textron GSE, which is airport ground equipment, and then Tracker, which is our ATV range equipment. So the benefit of being part of this, of Textron and Textron Specialized Vehicles Group is we can use all the um, development and engineers from across these different companies within Textron to, to develop our product and innovate quicker in our industry. And this is one of the main reasons we've been able to bring to the market the first all electric fairway mark. So a survey went out to via um, the, the industry bodies below GCFAA, bigger asthma, and they asked their customers um, if they were thinking of going lithium. So 55% of customers are consider considering lithium. And they're considering it for the following reasons. Eco-friendly, it's hydraulic free, no risk of oil spills on the greens or on the golf courses. There's lower operational costs, so especially in places like Spain where you've got good solar, you know, you're basically running the machine for zero fuel costs. They're quiet, so around hotels, resorts where you've got guests not wanting to be woke up early, you're not getting that noise around the resorts, around the housing, around the golf courses. It's a huge benefit to, to the golf course. The vibration for the operator, there's very minimal vibration. We haven't got a big diesel engine thumping away, um, which is uncomfortable for the operators. It's lithium, there's, there's virtually no vibration with these lithium machines. And then the reduced maintenance. You know, underneath that bonnet of those these machines, there's no maintenance to do whatsoever. So the only thing you have to maintain on these machines is the cutting units. That's the only maintenance required on these machines. Jacobson, um, you, you might think, oh, you've the electric greens mower, electric fairway mower, it's quite new to the market. Jacobson had known that electrifying mowers has been the, the, the best way to cut grass since 1926. And the reason for this is when you've got a hydraulic machine, it takes a while for that hydraulic oil to heat up and you get a different, the machine performs differently when the hydraulic oil is at different temperatures. Whereas with an electric machine, you can control the, the speed of the rails, um, the way the machine performs, the speed of the machine instantly. As soon as you switch that machine on, you get the same performance when, from the moment you switch it on to the moment you switch it off. There's, there's no change in performance. So in 1995, we had the Eplex, which had the big lead out of acid batteries. And it, it was too early for its time. It, it, it didn't do enough. It didn't last long enough um, to cut the greens that needed to cut. Um, and then we went in, 20, in 2000 when we moved on the Eplex 2, which was slightly better. In 2010, we, we launched the Eclipse 322 Hybrid, 
So um, this is a, a small diesel or petrol engine which power the generator to, to provide you with the electric reels which give which gave us the frequency of frequency of cut control which is which is hugely beneficial. We so no matter what speed you travel across that green, we can give you the same frequency of cut. And then in 2021, we launched the all lithium electric green smart. And then last year in 2023, we launched the industry's first all electric lithium fairway mark. Our vision for the SLF one. When we when we thought when we come to think about this machine, we thought, what does this machine need to do? What do we want it to do? We want it to go into high end golf, a sustainable option for elite golf. It needs to match the performance of lightweight fairway mowers, and it, we want to evolve the technology from the E three hundred and sixty onto a hydraulic oil free fairway mower. So. That was the vision for the machine. Once we built the machine, we we took it to premium golf fairways. So top UK, this is a top UK Parkland course. They had four diesel lightweight fairway mowers already cutting the fairways on this course. Um, and at 15 acre fairways across 36 hole GEO certified course. The machine excelled alongside the SLM 530s. Not only did it did it follow the contours better, did it float better, was the traction better? It cut eight fairways in under five hours with 30% charge remaining. It met all the eco responsibilities the club was trying to reach, and it really, really for them it, it, it done exactly what it needed to do. So we thought great premium golf fairways. It, it does its job. We can sell to this market. This market need wants and needs this machine, needs this quality of cut and performance of a machine. We then took it to some mainstream golf courses. So more sort of run of the mill grass factory, as I would call it, type courses where these, these, these courses, there's a lot of grass, they're getting played regularly. Um, it's quite challenging conditions. Maybe the drainage wouldn't be as good on some of these courses. Um, but so it's really testing the traction. So this call here um, is a UK Downland 18 hole course. Um, we tested it against the Jacobson F305, which is that's a machine that's very popular in the Spanish market, the 305. Um, it's a big, big, heavy diesel machine, um, four wheels. Um, so we fit th that machine would have treaded tires. The 305 would have treaded tires. Very capable machine, very good at climbing, lots of power. This SLF1 was fitted with slick tires. 70% of the fairways on this course were at least a 15% incline. They couldn't believe the traction of this machine. There was this, four, they've tried four wheel drive machines on this course that couldn't make it up these fairways. This machine cut. For six hours, 12, fairway, 12 fairways of 13.5 acres. And, and they said you know, this machine can work for us. They, they, this particular course probably wouldn't have the budget to buy two machines, two fairway mowers, but they, they, they were happy enough for that. They could cut nine fairways one day and then nine fairways the next day. That for them was, was perfect. They can make it work. So once we once we done the golf courses, we thought, where else can we take this machine? So in this picture, you'll see um, Ipswich Town Football Club training ground. Ipswich are um, in the second tier of um, the UK football. So you've got the Premiership, and then below that, you've got the Championship. And Ipswich Town are currently top of that Championship table. This is their training field. Um, they've run on two Jacobson LF570 mowers previously, four drive machines, um, really powerful diesel units. And as you can see, there's surrounded by houses. So noise, they're getting a lot of complaints from residents, from players practicing of the diesel machines. So we, we gave them the um, this 
electric fairway mower, the SLF one, and, and they cut and they were getting residents coming in, coming over. Oh, what have you done? Is your, is your mower broken? Are you not cutting the grass anymore? The residents just didn't know they were cutting grass early in the morning. They, they couldn't hear the machine. There was no complaints or noise. The other massive benefit for the, for this club is, as you can see on that picture there, where the mower is currently cutting, there's a fence around that training bit of ground and for them to turn with the four wheel four wheel machine they're having to, sh to move backwards and forwards to turn with this free free wheel machine you can turn on the spot and because of the intelligent traction drive of the machine there's no scuffing there's no marking when you're turning it obviously is very beneficial on a football pitch but also very beneficial on a, on a golf course where you're turning tightly you don't want to pull the turf or rip the turf. You, you're not going to do that with this free wheel drive and slick tire machine. You can turn very tightly, which also um, really helps increase or decrease the time it's taking to cut to cut the, the fairway and, and increase productivity of the free wheel machine. These are some of the places we've we tried the machine. I'll just let you look at that for a minute. I won't read them all out. Obviously, it's just town we just spoke about in the bottom right there. The Golf National France. Um, they've got the Olympics this year. We're going to cut the Olympics um, fully electric. So from your greens to your rough, the full golf course will be cut by Jacobson fully electric machines at this year's Olympics. So definitely something worth looking out for this summer when you're watching the Olympics. So performance beyond expectations. Um, this machine, it's low impact environmentally. Zero hydraulic oil, as we spoke about before. There's, there's no risk of, you know, hydraulic spills on the golf course. There's, there's no hydraulic oil in the machine. Zero fuel and zero emissions. This is a big thing for some of the, the larger courses trying to meet eco credentials they've got targets to hit when it comes to renewable energy this machine really helps hit those targets near silent environment near silent you know there's no when you're in the hotels on the golf courses you don't want to be hearing a diesel machine coming up beside you outside your bedroom window you don't get any of that with this machine uh low ground pressure um this machine is actually around 60 70 kilograms lighter than its diesel equivalent. A lot of people think, oh, batteries, heavy. No, this machine would be lighter than its diesel equivalent. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's probably the lightest fairway mower on the market. And the precise cutting reel control. We can, like on our fair, on our greens mowers, we can control the frequency of cut. So you set your frequency of cut, how many clips you want per meter. And if you, you, you slow down, the reels will slow down. But not only that, when you, if you were to stop, so you just stop for the play of golf, as soon as you stop, the reels stop. As soon as you start putting your foot on that accelerator again, the reels speed up. So you're getting a constant quality of cut on that golf course. Now, it's, it's not as big an issue on a fairway, but it's certainly nice to have it on a high-end fairway or on a surround. It's a very nice thing to be able to achieve. It's low impact operationally, so near silent, significantly lower operational costs that we talked about, solar energy, and significantly lower service times. So your mechanic hasn't got to worry about anything underneath the hood of that machine. It is very boring if you lift up that hood, there's a, there's a battery, a battery monitoring system, and, and a charger, that's it. And all, as we'll talk about in a minute, all those systems, Samsung, so they all talk to each other. You've got the reassurance of having, knowing the brand of battery that we use, Samsung. Um, there's, there's no risk involved there with longevity of the machine. So applications, you can use it on fairways, approaches, surrounds. We've got averted cutting reels available for this machine. Tees, very good on tees and approaches. Um, the traction is superb, really holds the ground and follows well. And with even because of the heads, the five inch reels on this machine, we can even use it on greens. 
you know you you can control the frequency of cuts like on the greens mark they're small five inch reels if you if you've got a lot of greens to cut and you want high productivity on your greens there's no reason why this machine couldn't be used as a greens mark and then in sports we do the high height of cut kit for this machine if you need to get up to them higher levels of cut for soccer baseball cricket um it, it's a it's a great option for those places as well as mentioned before We've teamed up with Samsung for our battery and our battery monitoring system for this machine. Textron Specialized Vehicles as a company has a dedicated Samsung factory producing all of our batteries for all of our machines across the golf carts, um, the, the buggies and any of our other electrical or lithium products. We use Samsung. Um, and one of the reasons for this is we, everyone trusts Samsung. We give this the battery comes with a five year warranty. It will far outlive that, but it comes with a five year warranty. They these are the 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 leader in Samsung. They they invest, reinvest a high amount of their um income into research and development. Seven point seven percent of their revenue gets reinvested into research and development, which really means their batteries are always ahead of the game. And, and market leaders, which is why we chose to go with Samsung. So specification overview, there's 10 Samsung lithium packs in this machine, which is twice what we use in our Greensmar. This gives us the range for the machine, which means you can cut, you know, I, on average 12 fairways, this machine will cut and comes with a five year battery warranty. There's a free kilowatt onboard charger, which basically means you plug this machine in when you finish for the day. By the time you come in the morning, it will be fully charged, ready to do another day. Now, we have looked at fast charging. Um, it's something we might go down the route of in the future. But really, we want to be able to, for you to buy this machine and not have to worry about the infrastructure that could be involved with a fast charging option. If you buy this machine today and you have electric in your current electrical sockets in your current shed, you can use this machine. You don't need to invest in any further infrastructure to start using one of these machines today. The cutting units are the tried and tested classic XP reels. You can have an eight blade or 11 blade option, and that's on the five inch diameter reels. The cut width is 82 inches, the same as our diesel SLF 530, diesel equivalent of this machine. It's ideal for fairways, surrounds, approaches, tees, as discussed before. Height of cut on the blade, on the standard blades, bottom blades, which come with this machine, you can cut anywhere between seven and 25 millimeters, which will obviously do your tees, approaches, fairways. If you would like to cut greens with this machine, you can get uh, a low profile bottom blade and that will allow you to go to down to green heights so down to you know three mil two three mil as low as you want to go really with the, the bottom blade will give you that the intelligent traction free wheel drive system so um this is a massive benefit and really you have to see the machine operation to really appreciate how good this system is it will put power to where it needs it and give you traction constantly on the golf course. So you any any hill or or terrain that your diesel machine can get up to, this machine will do this on slick tires and in some cases more than what that diesel equivalent will do. The, the traction on this machine is superb. It, it's certainly not something you need to worry about. Um, and if if you've got issues with your current fairway machine with marking this machine is really worth looking at and, and, and getting a demonstration of. Uh, maintenance free mounted parking brakes, and you've got um, MO speeds and transport speeds, which, which should be more than what you, you, you'd ever need to go for. As we talked about before, this machine being lighter than the diesel equivalent. So it's a super low chassis um, with upgraded op operators station. Um, that armrest there, slides 
backwards, forwards, it tilts. You can move it out of the way so you can clearly see the cutting unit on the right hand side, which is a, is a really nice feature. And um, when you're demoing the machine, I, I would recommend trying that. And then the, the steering column also adjusts and tilts. You, you can get very comfortable as an operator in this machine. So that's the machine um, overview. Obviously, we'd like to give you a demonstration. So please contact your um, Green Mers, your, your dealer there in Spain, and, and they will arrange one of their sales reps to come and visit you and arrange a demonstration of the machine. And then finally, if you'd like to take our five minute survey, um, scan that QR code there. And we will we you'll be sent some prizes and giveaways for taking part in that survey. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you very much, Mike, for sharing with us so many information. Y bueno, pues abrimos turno de preguntas si alguno de los asistentes quiere consultarle, <coughs> perdón, consultar algo a, a Mike, eh, pues es, es el momento. Eh, bueno, y si no, pues, pues nada, pues entonces daríamos por, por terminada la sesión. Mike, eh, no question ahead, so thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, see you in a, in, a next, in a next event. Yes, thank you very much. Pues nada, damos por terminada la sesión y continuaremos mañana. También tenemos otro, otro día bastante completo y concluyendo el viernes la, esta Ghost Week. Así que muchas gracias a todos y nos vemos en la siguiente. Hasta luego, buenas tardes.